Birds can be cute. Birds can be dainty. Birds can be elegant. But birds can also strike fear into us mere land dwellers. They soar through our skies, beaks and claws at the ready to strike. These are the 20 deadliest birds on the planet. Number 20. Harpy Eagle Eagles, as a whole, are known to be rather majestic birds. They come in a variety of colors and sizes, and of course, the United States has been the bearer of the mark for the bald eagle as it's their symbol of freedom. But I'm not here to talk about the bald eagle. I'm here to talk about the harpy, which is an eagle that is absolutely to be feared, especially if you're some prey on its menu. These great birds are named after harpies, the predatory, frightful flying creatures with hooked beak and claws of Greek mythology. The dark gray bird of prey has a very distinctive look, with feathers atop its head that fan into a bold crest when the bird feels threatened. Which is obviously often, because who would want to mess with a bird like this? In terms of raw dangerousness, you need to look no further than the claws of the beast, because these things can be up to four inches long, which is as big as other predators, which include bears. What they'll do is swoop onto their foes, grab their prey with their talons, and then drop their foes to the ground so hard that they instantly die and thus are ready to be eaten. And because of the raw power of the harpy eagle, they can go after rather large creatures that you wouldn't expect. These eagles have been known to go after monkeys, believe it or not. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Snowy Owl Shout out to all those Harry Potter fans who are watching the video because Hedwig has just made an appearance. You're welcome. I'll be talking about a lot of owls on this list, believe it or not, and if you've ever seen one of those majestic birds up close, it honestly shouldn't be too much of a surprise that they're quite dangerous. First and foremost, they have talons, incredibly sharp ones, and they're not afraid to use them in order to get prey and protect their own. And don't count on them flapping their wings so hard that you'll hear them because they can glide down to you without much issue or sound and you'll be caught completely unaware. Now going back to what I teased before, owls are infamous for being incredibly territorial and when it comes to animals being in their area, they'll send out a series of hoots to ensure that those creatures know what's around. But for humans, they don't seem to get that message, so the owls will happily swoop down and claw them up for good measure. The point here is, if you're in the area of a snowy owl, you can admire it from a distance. Don't expect it to come to your arm and be nice, because that's not how things work. Number 18. Australian Magpie I have to be very careful about the next one because there are several versions of the magpie in the world, and not all of them are truly dangerous. But when it comes to the Australian magpie, you can absolutely believe that this is a bird you don't want to screw with, even though it has no problem screwing with you. What's the difference between these magpies? Well, the Australian one is bigger and thus more heavy, and they have a habit of going and swooping down onto people who are either walking or riding their bicycle and slamming right into their heads. Some have even been known to try and break through the helmet in order to literally peck a person's brains out. These are birds that even Hitchcock would fear. The people of Australia are sadly so used to these attacks that they bring helmets for themselves when they go for a walk or a bike ride and even bring out sticks to fight off the birds should they swoop into them. And just to be clear, this is not a random occurrence or a bird that's trying to get something shiny on the person. These birds are basically driven to attack people for reasons that nobody fully understands. Speaking of not understanding, Australia apparently cares about these attacks so little that they make the Australian magpie their national bird. Oh, and if you're curious, other magpie species like the European magpie do have a swooping habit, but they're so much smaller that they don't hurt people that they it, so it's more annoying than it is dangerous. Number 17. 
seagulls. Now, no doubt many of you out there are a little confused right now because seagulls, at least at face value, don't appear to be all that much of a deadly threat to the world at large, and especially to people themselves. After all, they're more along the lines of annoying versus dangerous, right? Especially when you see them in their mind, 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 mind form in Finding Nemo. You're hearing those voices of the birds now, aren't you? But don't worry, so am I. I hear voices all the time. Not just birds, but that's for a different story. The problem here isn't the perfect rendition of seagulls in a Pixar movie. It's the people underestimate what seagulls can do, and as a result, their true nature is a bit clouded by circumstance and belief. Because when it comes to seagulls, they're very much what we would call not picky eaters. And what I mean by that is that if a seagull and its flock decide to live in your area, it'll go all over your area in order to try and find food. That's why you have so many stories of them hovering in towns, around docks, and even swooping to people who happen to have food in their hands. Because they don't care that it's your food, it's theirs now. And that's what makes them a bit dangerous, because if you time it wrong, you could find yourself getting clawed by a seagull, and that really wants your food. And because you're not suspecting them to do something near you, that leaves you wide open as a target. Plus, if there's a shortage of food in the area that they're in, well, they'll get very aggressive in order to fill their bellies. Sure, they're not the most dangerous bird on the list, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't take them very, very seriously. Number 16. The Lammergeier The Lammergeier is also known as the bearded vulture, and most people would think that vultures aren't exactly something to fear because they're not the most aggressive bird, but underestimate them at your own risk. After all, they are quite large, and they have a wingspan of about 10 feet. Though, thankfully, the Lammergeier follows its fellow vultures in going the path of the scavenger, and thus prefers to go after food that's already dead so that it doesn't put itself at risk. However, that doesn't mean that it won't do damage to you if you provoke it. What is interesting is that they don't prefer the meat of a kill most times, they instead prefer the bones and the marrow that are within. They'll take the bones, soar up high into the air, and then drop them from hundreds of feet to ensure that they crack, and that allows them to get to the marrow. It does show how far some animals are willing to go in order to get the food that they like, but let's get to the meat of the issue. They're dangerous because they attack people. One Greek story says that someone died via a Lammergeier because it dropped a tortoise on his head. Why did the bird do that? Well, because it mistook his bald head for a stone. Aren't Greek stories just great? However, getting back to reality, just because vultures are played for laughs in most stories, which includes cartoons, it doesn't mean they won't fight you if you make the wrong move or get between them and their bone marrow. Number 15. The Ostrich Here's another bird that you may think is a bit of an odd choice to call a dangerous bird because ostriches are also played for laughs in the world, especially when it comes to their infamous ability to put their heads into the dirt to try to avoid or ignore danger. Which by the way is a complete myth. Just think about it, if they did that, they wouldn't even be able to breathe. And they run the risk of not getting their head out. Oh, and then there's the fact that ostriches are large birds, and so the predator could just go after the rest of the body? Well, because ostriches don't appear dangerous doesn't mean that they aren't. After all, they're the biggest bird on the planet. The males of the species are able to reach over 9 feet in height, while the females are able to get over 6 feet 7 inches, both of which means that they're bigger than the average human, and they have the speed advantage by a large margin. The ostrich can reach up to, and sometimes over, 60 miles an hour, though that's mainly during massive sprints. Its average is somewhere around 45, and they can maintain that speed for quite a while, and if you're still not sure where the danger lies, well, you're obviously not paying attention. Imagine ticking off a 9-foot bird and then trying to run away, only for it to catch up to you in literal no time flat. Do you feel the danger now? Oh, here's an idea. Why don't you go bury your head in the sand? Surely that'll work against them. Number 14. Pitahui 
The Pitahui, also known as the Hooded Pitahui to some, is a bird that you might have known about due to it being in the vast landscape that is Papua New Guinea. What a fun thing to say. There are so many wondrous creatures there, and many of them should be feared for all the right reasons, and the Pitahui just happens to be one of those. But why is that? Well, the Pitahui have a skill that makes them different from just about every bird out there in the world. It has poison on its feathers. Yes, it's literally a poisonous bird. This is where we have to get very specific though, because the toxin that it carries is a very potent deadly toxin that does exist in other dangerous creatures, the poison dart frog being one. But how could this bird from Papua New Guinea get that poison on its feathers? Well, the answer is beetles. And if you're confused, well, when it comes to most poison animals, they usually have a gland or a sac or other body part within them that contains the poison. And as a result, it ensures that they'll have enough to kill a predator or prey. And for the Pitahui, they sometimes realize that if they go and eat a certain kind of beetle from their local area, they can secrete the poison from their body and put it onto their feathers. Others. That means that anyone who touches this bird is automatically touching the poison. And in fact, that's what happened to the man who discovered the bird. So learn from his mistake and make sure that you don't touch this bird should you be in its area. Number 13. The Crowned Eagle now I'm already back to eagles, and this time around I'm heading to Africa, where I'll have a look at their most powerful eagle via the crowned eagle. This very powerful and deadly eagle is something to be feared, and you can bet that the native people know to give this bird a wide berth, and as a result, so should you. Their legs are thick. They have a very long talon on each back toe that helps them kill animals more than four times their size. And considering that they're over three feet tall and have a wingspan of about six feet, that means that they have a lot of creatures that they could kill with their talons should they want to. And trust me, they do want to. Birds gotta eat after all, right? Built for flying amongst the trees, the crowned eagle's wings are short and broad, and its long tail helps to guide the bird like a rudder guides a boat. These features allow the eagle to fly easily throughout the branches and also means that they're very agile and thus can get prey rather easily. As if all this isn't enough to make it intimidating for you and others, the crowned eagle is known to have a very loud and powerful voice. Thus, it makes sure that you know where it is and where its nest might be. And you can bet that both people and animals would be stupid to try to get close to this eagle's nest. Number 12. Cassowary There are certain birds in the world right now that can very easily be identified as being the most dangerous, and one of those creatures is about to be talked about via the cassowary. On the surface, you may think that this is just another bird along the lines of the ostrich or the emu, and you would be right to a certain measure, but this bird is way more deadly. Thankfully for many of you out there, the cassowary is not in your residential area, as they're found in northern Australia, New Guinea, and the surrounding islands. So if you stay away from all of those places, you'll probably be good, and if you're in those places, well, you've been warned. But what makes them so dangerous, you're probably asking. Well, like many birds, they have talons, and like the emu and the ostrich, they're very big and fast. But what separates the cassowary from its other land bird brethren is that they aren't above killing you both intentionally and upon accident. Their claws don't just rend flesh, they break bones. And as we noted, they'll sometimes attack people for reasons that leave attacks by them labeled as accidents, such as when people try to feed them. They enjoy the food and want more, and then the people have run out of food, and you can guess what happens next. Even soldiers during certain world wars were warned while in Australia to make sure that they didn't screw with cassowaries, so that should tell you everything that you need to know. Number 11. The Herring Gull Herring gulls, especially the European herring gull, might seem a big step down from the cassowary, but by now you should know not to judge a bird by its feathers, rather by how it acts and how it attacks you. 
Herring gulls are yet another type of bird that prefer to scavenge, thus putting them in the same ranks as vultures. And that's not exactly a good thing. In an interesting twist, however, they're more than willing to do their scavenging over the various bodies of water of the world, which is not what you'd expect from birds. Open water, intertidal pools and shallows, mud flats, landfills, newly plowed fields, picnic grounds, and even fish processing plants, they'll go just about anywhere in order to get a meal. At first, that might seem like a fine thing, but that also means there's a chance that this sometimes ravenous bird is around you. And you might not know it, they could even be behind you right now. Not only are they far-reaching, they're honestly really smart when it comes to how they come together. And by that I mean that these birds will flock in areas where they aren't just able to get food, but also stay away from predators, ensuring that they can get their meals in peace without being threatened and having to stand guard. Those kinds of smarts are dangerous in any creatures. Finally, but arguably the most important, their hunger will lead them to go after all sorts of food, even foods that aren't exactly bird appropriate at times. And thus, like seagulls, you probably should keep an eye on your food should you see one of these herring gulls around. Unless, that is, you want to give your food to the birds, but something tells me that that's not the case. Number 10. Red-tailed hawks Without a doubt, one of the bird species that are known for being rather impressive and scary are those of the hawk line because they're usually very big, very scary, and have powerful talons that can rip you to shreds. That brings me to the well-known hawk of the red-tailed hawk. This one is the first hawk on the list because of its sheer numbers advantage. In terms of North America, it's believed to be the most common hawk around, and thus you'll be able to encounter it often and be in danger quite often as well. The other thing that makes them dangerous is their presence, and by that I mean that the red-tailed hawk is known for making its presence felt in whatever area it may be lurking. That includes soaring high into the sky to make sure that people and animals see it. It has no problem showing how menacing it is or making sure that people hear how menacing it is. It has a voice that's literally considered a raptor cry. In Hollywood, they use the red-tailed hawk voice for raptors, and so imagine just seeing one above you and hearing a raptor screaming. Finally, and arguably most important, they're very territorial, to the extent that anyone who dares try to get close to their nests, well, it was nice knowing you, my friend, because the red-tailed hawk will slice you with its talons, and it won't hesitate to do so. Number 9. Falcons Falcons are another breed of bird that are rather revered and feared in our world today. In fact, it's estimated that there are nearly 60 species. What's more, they have a set of traits that do set them apart, including long and pointed wings, swift and powerful flight. They're the aerial acrobats of the sky, and they're not afraid to show it when they're hunting down prey. In true falcons, the female is larger and bolder of the sexes, which is likely not something you'd expect. But the falcons don't care what you expect, or think, or even want to say about them. If you're looking for which falcon is the scariest, that would probably be the peregrine. The peregrine has the ability to go into a dive that's so streamlined, it allows the falcon to reach 200 miles per hour. And some even believe that they can go faster than that. There are race cars that can't even go 200 miles per hour, and they were built for speed. Though you could also argue that the peregrine was built for speed as well. Add to all of that that they have a range that puts other bird species to shame, and you have a bird that can go a lot of places, fly down from the sky at a screaming pace and attack you before you even notice, and you know what? I'm just terrified thinking about it. Even my pet guinea pig Twinkle is hiding under her covers. Number 8. Sparrowhawk 
The sparrowhawk is definitely not a bird that's talked about very often, but it's another case of underestimating a bird at your own risk, because this one is known for attacking things to get its food, and that's just natural for the bird itself. But as some have personally witnessed, the sparrowhawk does have the desire at times to go after bigger prey as well, all so that it can get some satisfaction, even if that means going after other birds. In fact, there are apparently over 120 species of birds that the sparrowhawk Sparrowhawk is just openly fine with eating. Males can catch birds up to thrush size, but females being bigger can catch birds up to pigeon size. This all equates to bird on bird crime, and that's a terrifying thing to think about. Now sure, this could mean that humans are in the safe zone, if you will, but being that the sparrowhawk isn't exactly afraid of taking on larger foes, why would you think it would leave you alone? Number 7. The Great Horned Owl Now I'm back on owls, where this time around I'm going right for the owl that's been known to attack humans with certain criteria, the Great Horned Owl, easily one of the most known owl species out there. The Great Horned Owl is a terror at night when it hunts, and while it doesn't openly hunt humans, it has been known to attack them when the need arises. But what does that mean exactly? <laughs> Well, like many birds, the great horned owl is one that's very territorial at best, but because humans don't always see their nests, they go right into this owl's range, and when they do, they end up getting attacked, sometimes in a rather violent fashion. Oh, and it's also an owl that's incredibly common, so you could be in an area right now that has one of its nests, and you likely wouldn't even know it. That is, until the owl tries to slice you up and it's too late. <laughs> Sorry about your luck. Number 6. The Great Northern Loon the Great Northern Loon goes by a lot of names, but that doesn't mean that it shouldn't be said to be dangerous in its own right. Though at first, you would probably think it's just a typical bird given how it goes about its day. For example, the common loon eats a variety of animals which include fish, crustaceans, insect larvae, mollusks, and occasionally aquatic plant life. They swallow most of the prey underwater where it's caught, but some larger items are first brought to the surface. Now, this does make them a dangerous hunter, as their prey might not see them coming until it's too late. However, that's not even the most dangerous thing about them in context, because what makes them really dangerous is that they have tons of parasites that can live within them, and even on the outside of their bodies. So if you do get too close to them, or you try to eat one without knowing what it is, you could possibly be in trouble. Number 5. The Pelican one could argue that the pelican is in fact one of the most fascinating birds in the world today for one basic reason. It's a bird that has its own built-in advantage for catching food via its large mouth. What it has is a kind of pouch, and when they fly, they'll dip that pouch into the water and have a wide area of effect to try and capture food. It can be a very effective method. One myth about the bird, though, is that it keeps the fish for a while before eating it. It doesn't, though. It actually eats them instantly. So what makes the pelican so dangerous? Well, would you want to be in the water near where fish are with this bird swooping down on you potentially and scooping you up into its mouth? No, you don't. I didn't think so. Number 4. Shrikes now, it's no secret that shrikes are formidable predators. The grayscale songbirds of the open country might look as harmless as mockingbirds, but these black-masked butcher birds, as they're known, pack more fierceness in every ounce than any other bird in the areas they live in. And that makes them scary by default. What are they so fierce about getting, though? Well, they eat grasshoppers, and crickets and beetles, and lizards and mice and frogs, and even small birds. Oh, and they'll also go after birds that can be as big as they are. One was once observed carrying off a northern cardinal. So yeah, that makes them scary, and it makes us glad that we're not on the menu. Number 3. Vultures now I'm back to vultures, 
just can't get away from these carrion eaters, can we? But that is in fact what makes them so dangerous, because they seem to know when death is either coming or where it is, and that's never a good sign. What's more, there are actually two distinct groups of vultures out there in the world, leaving you more reason to not get close to them so that they don't eat you when your time comes. The irony here is that while they do indeed eat the dead, they're on the way to being dead themselves as they're on the endangered species list. Granted, some wouldn't be sad that they're gone, but that's a dangerous thing in and of itself, because every single creature out there affects the world, and any loss would end up being big. Number 2. Cuckoos why in the world is the cuckoo bird so dangerous? Because they're cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs! Haven't you seen those commercials? <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Alright, back to serious business. The attribute for which the cuckoos are best known is the habit of brood parasitism found in all of the cuculinae and three species of another type of bird that I can't even begin to try to pronounce. It consists of laying the eggs singly in the nests of certain other bird species to be incubated by the foster parents who then rear the young cuckoo. Yes, these birds literally dump their children off on other bird species and they get away with it. How crazy is that? But for them, it just seems to work. Number 1. Swans now, you may not have been expecting this last one, were you? Because swans are the kind of creature that a few would look at and go, oh, that's a dangerous bird. Swans are known to be graceful, beautiful, elegant, and endearing, at a distance at least, because certain swans, like the mute swan, are known to be a danger to people, animals, and even plants. <laughs> This is a divine bird, but it's also an invasive species, one that's not afraid to defend its territory with aggression that you wouldn't expect from it. But they have aggression in spades to give out to people and animals that underestimate them. And just so I can put a nice cherry on top here, yes, they've been found to attack humans in the past. So again, it's just okay to admire them, just make sure it's from a distance. And that's all from the realm of birds you should be wary of. Were you surprised that some of them were defined as being truly dangerous? And which of these birds do you honestly have in your local area? Do you know of anyone who was hurt by one of these birds? Let me know everything and every juicy detail in the comments below. Also be sure to check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.